Hey, this is Raja Ali Abdul Noor, editor in chief of NEGM Clinician. I'm just walking into my overnight ICU shift where I know I'm going to be seeing a lot of patients with septic shock. And as always, I'm going to be asking myself the question Does my patient who just got admitted with septic shock need more resuscitation? Or should I pause and observe? One simple bedside tool we all know about is the capillary refill test pressing the fingertip to stop blood supply to the skin until it blanches, and then see how fast it pinks up again. We're taught that under three seconds suggests that blood supply is being adequately supplied to the body, for now. But can it actually guide resuscitation? In a news story, Dr. Dan Dressler distilled a randomized control trial in JAMA that says maybe. Mortality didn't change, but patients in the capillary refill guided group had more wins, mostly from needing slightly less time on vital support. So. Should I be using the capillary refill test tonight and how? To learn more from Dr. Dressler and see what else matters this week, please visit us at clinician.negm.org.